Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. I am Zystars, and we are playing the Star Salvage mod. Today we are looking around at POIs on the Star Salvage mod, and this one is just called Abandoned Base. You can't see it now, but trust me. Abandoned Base. That's, that's, that's the name of it. I know you can't see it, which is annoying, but here, let's do this. Abandoned base. So I don't know. Uh, I've never seen a POI called base before, but convenient for us, the doors here, <laughs> or the doors, the guns here are missing, which makes it super convenient to jump in here and open the front do or the side door here. I mean, there's no side door here, but I'm going to open one anyway, because that's what I do. And the, it's got side cannons but they can't hit my ship where it's at now. So let's uh, turn the light on, because that's crazy, working in the dark. This planet's super dark, so flying around, not really good content, because you can't see anything. Hey, guys. Was that... Was that like a Xerax shoot? Oh, no, it was my turret shooting. Oh, look, there's a, there's a medical thing. That's medical scrap. We're not going to... We're not going to destroy that. At least we're going to try not to. Because, you know, we don't have a ton of medical scrap. And I know there's a whole bunch of things in the medical tree that I haven't messed around with. And I am sure I'm going to need medical scrap for that. That was inconvenient. What a jerk. This is the abandoned base, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I haven't really messed with the, what do you call it? I haven't really messed with the medical yet, because honestly, I don't, I haven't really cared about it. Though the know-it-all DM did put in some, like, medical boosters and stuff, which might be kind of interesting. They're supposed to be good until you die, so that's cool, I guess. So your clone... Okay, IGB PJL SFB. Wait, I've seen this POI before. Doesn't it explode if you go through here? What just shot me? What? I've never. This guy. Okay. So, this right here. Recessed gun turret seems to be a thing now. What the? I've never seen that icon before. Huh. What, uh, what goes on in here? Hardened steel. Nothing. Okay. I guess we could do this. Hello, baby. Oh, wasn't there... Oh, yeah, there was one, but I bet you that was just to entice me to die. That's what that's what this game is all about, being enticed to die. Hey, dummy. Quit freaking out. Why can't I see their health bars when I just look at them? Let's double check for this. Okay. Um... Sweet, I guess? Like that. That's all I care about. Okay. Yeah, I've seen this POI. It's called... It's called Abandoned PO or Abandoned Base, but it, it is a... It is a legit Xeraxian POI. So that's kind of what I'm noticing about this planet. It's all... Like Xerax POIs that uh, have been just slightly modified with stuff like this. Spawns like these in there, and then and then just marked either green, you know, with the ghost core, or abandoned POI, right? Like the, the old legacy POIs from starter planets back in the day. But there doesn't seem to be anything particularly unique. And there isn't anything particularly useful because you can't pull out big chunks of stuff because you can't bring your CV down here. 
which makes the makes it kind of not useless but less than ideal. So while the jewel of Vertron is an interesting idea and the the lore for it is pretty cool, it's it's kind of a cool idea. Um, it's not very useful. You know, it's not like I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out here. And this might be the last day that we run around in this in this in the jewel of Vertron because it's it's honestly it's kind of boring. Um, why can't I move? That was weird. It's kind of boring because it's it's very empty. I mean, occasionally things shoot at you. You know, like that happens because things sh shoot at you. That's that's how games work. Whoops. There's the core. Oh, I will take all of that. Oh, whoops. Bridge. Storage repository. Don't I have that thing linked? Can I just... Yeah. And... I don't want any of that. We'll take the fuel, though. Because I didn't bring fuel when I left the ship. Oh! Yeah, but I bet there's nothing, nothing to come of it. It's just a block. It's not like it leads anywhere, right? That is a really tough block. Yeah, okay. So the abandoned base was kind of like, meh. He, he gave it a different name to make it seem interesting, I think. But it really, really wasn't. All right. Well, unfortunately, that is that. So, ladies and gentlemen, this base, not this base, this planet. I haven't been around the whole thing because this planet is obnoxiously large. But all I'm seeing are standard, um, I'm just seeing standard POIs. And a bunch of, you know, ancient flying machines, oxygen depot, crashed capital vessel. I've been to several of these junk hover and junk small vessels, and they are just the exact same ones that were on the starter planet. Um, satellite... Ri I mean, the abandoned archaeological site is kind of cool, but I've been through it in other playthroughs before, and I'm, I mean, there are going to be good loot boxes down there, but I think I've got enough gear, you know? I don't really care about it. And... Yeah, you can't use that big blonger and go anywhere. You have to use the little one. So I think we're probably done with this, uh with this planet. If I'm wrong, let me know, because I, I do want to see cool things and showcase cool things, but I'm not flying around this very large, very, very large planet. Just on the off chance there's something kind of cool. It's too big. If it was a medium-sized planet, I would fly around the entire thing. Maybe even a large planet, because it does have so many ghost icons on it. And crutch capital vessels are neat. I, I do like them. There's another abandoned base. Yeah, abandoned. Uh, now the abandoned reactor is a fun POI, but I'm not going through it. There's the abandoned mine. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of legacy POIs. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Doesn't identify what it is, but oh my god, this this radar has got a range. Very cool. The radar is very cool. Okay, I found another reason to come over here to Vertron. Uh, early game. This this is quite the pentaxid field. Like there is pentaxid all over the place. Look at this. There's a ton of it. Now, I know not all the blue things are pentaxid, but those little square dealy bobs, or rectangular dealy bobs. These ones right here. See that three, that pack of three? That's all pentaxid. And the radiation's a little high, but if you're coming here, you've got a ship, so you can handle it. And hopefully you've got a medical bay in your CV in orbit, or if you don't have a CV in orbit, hopefully you found a little bit of medical, or a little bit of anti-radiation pill by now. Here's what kind of the area looks like. Is that going to shoot at me? It shouldn't. It does. Yeah, it's got rocket launchers on it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Don't come here without a shield generator. 
You don't want to get trapped on this planet. Although there are plenty of SVs. None of them are functional. And I haven't found... I've only found a small handful of junk... Junk storages. There's one over there. I've... Found one... Now, none of them were really, like, any good. They were just junk storages. Though there are plenty of abandoned structures to steal bits and indeed bobs off of. Rados comm center. Yeah, see, it's just a Rados comm center. It's just got... It's missing a couple of guns, which makes it less deadly. And it's got uh, the legacy in there. Arguably less deadly than the Xerax, depending on your play style. Alright, let's, uh, on the off chance, this is a... A unique junk storage, because we come to this unique planet. Is there a unique junk storage? There is not. This is just the same junk storage we always see, with the large constructor in it. Or is it advanced? No, it's a large constructor. Oh, two of them, that's right. We had those on our starter planet. Or it could have been one of the other starter planets I did. Either way, it was on a starter planet. Alright, I think we're done. I think we're done. If there is something cool here, let me know, but so far I'm just seeing the same stuff I've seen in every other planet. And if you know, if you've watched my games before, I generally avoid extra large planets. They take way too long to traverse. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not really interested in it. Hey Gary. Gary. Look up from the tablet, goddammit. Tell him what we figured out. That's a little better. You wanna tell him what we figured out? Well, it turns out that the extra-large planet full of abandoned POIs does have a purpose. And that purpose is helping me spawn in a new CV. I figured out how to spawn in a new CV, and we're going to show you how to do it. Now, I just spent the last several days scouring that planet for every little bit and every little bop that we possibly could get. And in doing so, I was able to gather all of the components combined with all of the garbage we had in this base cobbled together all of the components we needed to put together a new capital vessel. Now, the SS Lobot Lobotopia is a great vessel. It is a fantastic piece of machinery that has served us very, very well. But it's time to let it go. Gary, you stay here. I am going to go and show these nice folks. You see the cameras, right? They're around here somewhere. I'm going to show these nice folks exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, we've made it. Holy crap. I don't know why I went all the way, well, I went all the way back home to get the bits and pieces, the bops and the parts. But we are currently in the Vertron system. Right? Jewel of Vertron, Vertron system. You remember it. It's the big ass black hole. Blamo. Here's our new capital vessel, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen. Did I not do it evenly? Oh, it is freakishly cold. I'm I'm wearing an EV suit. Like, I should be good. Yeah, I'm good at negative 211. What's the problem here? Oh, it was the radiation that was the problem. 8.4. Okay, I can live with that for the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Soul Siphon. VM Lobo. Lobo just because it's me. Uh, Soul Siphon VM is the name of the ship. And uh, it is going to irradiate me to death out here. Where's my thing? Oh. Don't I have a... Oh, I left all my stuff in the absolute bastard. Oops. Uh, da, 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 da. Where did I put the boosts? We've got a radiation boost, right? Let's take off the mobility booster. Now we should be good. Alright, this beautiful son of a bitch is absolutely bananas bonkers. Look at this thing. It's made of Zeno steel primarily, and that's the reason that I stayed on Vertron for all those days. And I just, I'd like ripped that place apart. I pulled all of the Xeno substrate I could find out, as well as all of the, the Neo from everything. I used up all the thousands of Optronic Optronic Matrix, the little, the blue circuit board looking things. I used all of those. I used the rest of my power coils. I got more power coils, I pulled apart CVs from orbit, ghost ships, all kinds, a couple of Xeraxian capital vessels, all kinds of crap in order to get this ship up and running. Oh man, this thing is so neat. 
I fell in love with this one as soon as I saw it on the workshop. It Look at that CPU usage, which is actually a little more than it was in creative mode. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go over here to the Lobo. It's a bit of a power monger. Let's see. I think we've got fuel right here. Oh, yeah. All these ridiculous things. Oh, no, I left the hundreds of Promethium fuel that I had in the Quartermaster 1 back at base. That's all right. I guess we can throw some Pentaxid in here. Whoa, it, it came with 50 Pentaxid? Well, that's convenient. How did that happen? Um... Where's my fuel? There it is. Look at all this crap. Oops. I don't know why I might need that. I just don't want to use it all. <laughs> uh-huh. That used virtually all of the fuel that we had. So one thing that we're doing, and I'm and back at base, and I left all of it at the other base, is uh, this stuff for fuel. Where is it? Ecto fuel. So ecto fuel takes only ten ectoplasm, but it takes a hundred plant protein, but it provides six kilopu of fuel as opposed to, I guess, a fusion cell, which gives three hundred. So it gives like two hundred times. No, 2,000 times? I don't know. It gives a whole crap load more fuel. So we're definitely going to see if I can't get a hold of more ecto fuel. And with this ship, we're going to be able to just wreck all sorts of crap. All right, so let's do a quick tour, shall we? Okay, so here's our hangar. You know, the hangar bay is pretty sweet. The, so up there... Ugh, it's all dark. Up there was the Tier 2 generators. That, that's what was up there, and I'm going to replace that with something else because those little green things right there, those are ecto-generators. I think that's what they're called. The ecto-reactors. So they count. They have a 6,000-point fuel tank, and they produce about the same amount of power per CPU point that the big ones do. Then we got this stuff in here, the shield generators. I'm going to put more, um, probably statues in here. I'm probably just going to pack this room with statues. It's going to be great. So, yeah, we've got a really big docking area, some walking platforms up there. There's a couple of those. Now, <laughs> this thing has 23 hours worth of power, right? Just kind of sitting here. If I put all of the CPU compressors in, that gives about a little over a million CPU back to me. This number drops to 32 minutes at idle. So those things suck. Screw those things. Um... Let's see, what else? Yeah, we've got cargo. Here, let's go upstairs. This thing is, I just, I love this ship. We're in a safe spot too, so we don't have to worry about it. So there's a lot of spots here to add dudes, you know? These are all ammo containers. Look at all these ammo repositories. They're all 320K. Oh, except that one. For some reason, that one's not, but the rest of them are. And actually, I should probably look into that and see why that one's smaller. Hopefully it's not just a piece that broke off. But then it's got a fuel, harvest, medical, oxygen, couple of pentaxid storage. But actually when I get, and I totally forgot to do this, I should have done it before. One of these, I saw it in... Where did I see it? Vehicle, basic survival, engineering. There's a compressed pentaxid tank. But I don't know where it is on here. And if I do get my hands on a compressed pentaxid tank, that will make things a little better. You know what? Might have just been something I saw when I was screwing around in creative mode. Maybe the compressed pentaxid tank's not something that's on the, the, the work table here. There's the regular one. Yeah, if I'm wrong, let me know, but I'm pretty... Um, I saw a compressed pen. It had like a 1.8 um, kilo SU storage size, but uh, maybe it's not something that we're allowed to use. Eh, regardless. Um, yeah, these things are huge. So we've got the tier 4 pieces there. 
and then I've got one right here of the small the small CPU compressor. Otherwise, the scrap CPU compressor. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to do it. It would have pushed it over the edge, which no one wants to see. All right, so we've got a couple of advanced constructors up here for advanced constructor things. We've got a cockpit. What else? Let's go up. And we've got a battle bridge in here. Cockpit, shower, armor locker, right? The, all the basics. All the basics. Oh, we don't have any. Oh, we don't have any oxygen in here yet. <laughs> then we got our medical suite up here. It's got all of this stuff. It's got. There's a locker for who knows what. Oh, we can turn that off. It's got a 48 plot garden. So while not great, not bad. I will probably put pink pentaxid on this side and then put um, uh, probably a two rows of vegetables for ecto fuel and then the various other things we need to keep making the what's a jingers is this on yeah okay we'll leave that on another shower medical oxygen and the main bridge oh yeah it's kind of weird that the main bridge is up front we've got our pilots We've got a commanding officer. Is that two commanding officers? How'd that happen? Maybe this one's not a real one. No, negative 1,000 CPU. Negative 1,000 CPU. Okay, well, whatever. Um, there's the engineer. Now, I don't have the shield guys, which I'll just take those from the Lobo. Here's the landing platform. There's the black hole. Here's the landing platform. Can I see stars through the black hole? Oh no, they're moving. And then... That's pretty much it. There's space for a lot more turrets. Um, if I ever find a way to, to vastly increase the CPU, or if the alien cores are a thing, we might, we might be able to throw some more turrets on here. Then we got two artillery, number of flak turrets, plasma, you know, it's got some minigun turrets. I need to go in and set all of that stuff, but man, this thing is enormous and amazing. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can dock. I left both my other ships back at base. So let's see if I can dock it. I also need to put the big blonger on it, I think. I, I don't think I left a big blonger on there. So let's see if I can dock to this thing. Might not be able to. I might I made a... I might have hoodwinked myself. Oh yeah, and I need to move all my statues. I gotta remember where my gears are. Okay. I mean, it's docked, I think. The shield's shut off, which that tells me that it's docked. So hopefully, it's gonna let me do it. Nice little, little black room here. Oh, I guess I can take those out. All right, let's charge the shields. Okay, it's moving. Yep. The Lobotopia is docked. <laughs> and this thing is right at the soul siphon, baby. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. All right, let's get... We got a 300 light year journey. Now, it's not every sun system that you can do this in. So far, Vertron is the only one that I've been able to that I've found. You know, I probably should have checked Lintara since it was the starter system for me, but I'm not worried about it because now I have it and I'm good to go. So we, a little update. The reason it's going to be a little while before this gets up, I had a little bit of a, a snafu, if you will. The, uh, the game decided that when I jumped into a sector to not load like a single space character in a fish line on one of the planets in the system that I jumped to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But the effect of that was the, the game errored out and wouldn't let me load it. Oh, it was this planet, Aurelio. We jump back in here, so it works now, right? But this planet, Aurelio, there was, a, there was one line of something in there that wasn't allowing me to jump or to, to spawn in here to load the, the play field properly. Just goes to show you how, you know, you got you think about the, the people that make these YAML files and code this game. It's pretty damn amazing when you think about it because one character off and the whole thing collapses. It just doesn't work, which is what happened to the, with that sector. 
I don't know if it was a Star Salvage one specifically or if it was vanilla, but I got a hold of Know It All DM, the creator of this mod, and that day, he the day that I thought to get a hold of him, I, I didn't think about it right away. Um, he uh, he helped me troubleshoot what was going on. You know, we looked through the YAML files, we looked through the the logs to see the error logs to see what was going on, and we found one. You know, that planet where it said failed to load because of whatever. And we dug through, he found the, the line of code that was screwed up, and he fixed it, uh, he fixed it in his scenario, you know, and the next time I, I, fi I loaded his scenario, that's why there was an update on November 22nd. Yeah, that's why there was an update to that scenario on November 22nd, because he, he found that error, or we found that error, and he fixed it. So, hopefully it doesn't happen again, I feel like that might have been what happened with my first playthrough, or maybe it was the second one. Whichever one it was that I was warping and couldn't do it anymore. If I would have just gotten a hold of him, we may have been able to fix it, and I could have, I could have salvaged that scenario. So that's that's a lesson, you know. Don't rage quit. Think about it calmly. Maybe talk to somebody who might be a little bit smarter than you, because I know I never would have found that, found that out. I mean, if, if no adult DM hadn't been, if that had been on vanilla, I'd have been like, well, I guess I'm done with this playthrough. You know, uh, I'm going to have to go over to the Lobotopia and pick the garden because I'm out of Pentaxid. <laughs> the, the garden needs picked. Holy crap, there's 25 more. I have so many engineering components. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over to the Lobotopia and pick the garden. Oh, no, I'm not. Here we go. Can I hold... There, that'll work. But wait a minute. Oh, that's the Lobotopia. Oh, the Lob oh, I've got plenty of fuel. Lobotopia's got fuel. So yeah, that's just a lesson, you know. Don't don't rage quit. Think about what you got, figure it out, and there's probably going to be There we go. There's probably going to be a solution if you just try to find one. So, let's uh let's get back home and uh get all the pieces flipped over. We've got a lot of work to do. Okay, let's put let's put some of these things in here. First thing we need is this ginormous blonger. Because you can't not have it. Oh, I shouldn't have put those power generators over there. I wonder if that's going to create an issue. Let's see. We could put this here. Oh, we could actually put it right there. What? How is that going to work? Can I... This thing is huge, man. This is ridiculous how big this thing is. I mean, I could put it in a, in a hangar base somewhere, but that doesn't seem fun. Um, Is this thing on? Let's turn it off. There's no reason to have it on right now. So let's pull these ecto-reactors. Oh, shoot. They have fuel. Okay, it's fine. Let's pull these ecto-reactors. Because I kind of want this up against the wall. There we go. Now, will these fit? No, this thing is this thing is perfectly set in here. Okay, let's put those up there. Nope, nope, damn it. Okay, drop that. Okay. Okay, now, will this big one fit in here? Yeah. Where's the front? Okay, and then... These are pretty big. Oh, these are even bigger. Oh my goodness. Okay, those are too big. Those are little. Those are two by one. Those are two by one. Okay. Yep, we'll drop that. Drop that. Not that one. This one. No, which one was two by one? that one. Okay, so that's too big to fit up there. Unless I do that, okay. And then let's put a couple of these up here. If I end up needing more ecto reactors, I can always move this stuff around. It's not a big deal. Um, and then we'll fill these in over here. It is raining seriously hard here at my house. Like, really hard. 
Okay, these are those gigantic ones I had on the outside of my base, or of, of the Lobotopia. You know what? There's there's lots of space up there, so I will I will take a look at that on another day. Okay, um this here. Okay. So you know what? I think having these guys up here is gonna be what I go for. Why not? So that's that one. That's that one. So let's put... Okay, so you are the shield technician. Give you a workstation. I think that's a receptionist. Okay, so that's the receptionist. So we got another shield tech, master shield tech, and a tactical officer. So this will be the work area. There's those two. And then we'll have their boss overseeing them. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah. Fantastic. And then we've got, what else? Engineers. Um, we'll put one here. I got two more. Perfect. T, we'll put one here. And we'll put one here. Now, if you remember these things how did I go over CPU I'm gonna have to look these things give me oh these things just take off CPU energy n 500 okay and then it was it was wait do these things oh these things all have a CPU cost oh no okay 300 CPU for that one tactical officer shield tech gives me 50 re shield recharge and the master gives me 150 so my shields will recharge faster okay so these things all have a cpu cost um i need to see if there's any other ones that have no shield what is this big this big one let's see that's got a 2400 cpu cost so i'm gonna need to take a hard look at that stuff and see kind of see what's going on so I grabbed some plants from the Lobotopia I'm gonna I'm gonna do all that off off camera but all the plant stuff but yeah I want to I do want to have these in because it's gonna reduce the power cost of the ship but what am I gonna need to do for the CPU hmm there's no RCSs in this thing it moves like a dream we've got yeah the Zeno steel is a lot that that's a lot and the thrusters, repositories. Hmm. She's got a small thruster just, just chilling. Just a couple small thrusters chilling somewhere. Those might be what I pull out. That's 21,000. Those might be what I pull out. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now that we have the ship up, look at it. And now you can see it in the sun. Look at that beautiful bastard. Man alive. That is a good looking ship. I'm excited. I'm excited to get it out and murder Xeraxians. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's going to be awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, if uh, you so desire, please leave a comment in the comment section. We almost lost the series, but thanks to the mod creator, we were able to get it back. If you did like it, though, hit the like button. Uh, take a look at the top of the description in this one. It's got links to my Patreon and my Discord, if you so desire. Um, yeah, just kind of kind of take a look at those things. Uh, less than 100 subscribers left until we get to 1,000 to where YouTube will allow us to set up membership on, on the YouTube channel. And then we can set up uh, membership videos. We can set up membership spaces on Discord to make things a little more... A little more swanktastic. So if you guys are interested in all that stuff, share the videos with your buddies. Get them to subscribe if they like the content. And uh, as always, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Shut up and sit down.